Hi guys, welcome back. We're gonna do our second painting of a step-by-step. -step. Let me go ahead and show you what we're gonna do. Here it is. So we're gonna go ahead and do teach you how to do trees really easy. We're gonna have to teach you how to do reflection on a water really easy. And then I went ahead and put a saying there. You don't have to put any words there. I just like to fill empty spaces with sayings. Another cool idea is to put a bowl there, trace the bowl, fill it in white with splotches of gray, and you have a really pretty moon there. Um, so it's totally up to you. And we're gonna go ahead and get started. So one more time, there's what we're gonna do. Let's get started. Okay, so the colors that we used, I put it on a paper plate and I used pink, white, blue, black, a navy green, and then also a lighter green. Um, and then just to speed it up a little bit, I went ahead and started with the pink. I started right in the middle of the canvas. I loaded my brush with pink and I just started right in the middle and went all the way across. Notice my canvas is horizontal. Um, we're just gonna go all the way across on the outsides, I add a little bit of white to my brush, and then I just went up top with that white because I want it to fade out. So I want the darker pink in the middle, and then I want it to start fading out um, down here. So do the same that you did up top to the bottom there. I'm gonna add a little bit more white up top just to have it fade really well. Again, you don't need a lot on your paintbrush paint goes a long ways um, and you don't need to squirt a lot on your on your plate either if you need to add more add more um, but we want to make sure that paint lasts okay so I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little bit more pink darker pink because I want that middle part to be really pink okay so it should look like this next we're gonna add um, the blue and I'm not even going to rinse my brush I'm gonna be kind of lazy with this because uh, we're creating a sky it so I'm gonna just keep I'm just gonna go right over it and add the blue and then we're gonna start at the top now add some more blue make sure that top gets filled in really well Okay, once that top is filled in really well, we're gonna go ahead and just kind of add it um, with a really light hand. We don't wanna really, we don't wanna press into the canvas. We want a really light hand and just gonna go back and forth nice and soft until you feel like it's nicely blended into that pink color down there, okay? So just back and forth. Painting is really relaxing for me, um, and this is one of the reasons. <laughs> just going back and forth, okay? We want it to blend really nice. It doesn't necessarily need to be a straight line at all. Um, it's just gonna blend it right back into that pink color, okay? So now we're gonna go and we're gonna do the same thing that we did to the top, to the bottom. So go ahead and put more blue on your paintbrush. Start at the bottom this time and work, work towards the center. Make sure we get that bottom really blue there. As you start getting closer to that pink, you kind of want the blue to stay down below. Again, and we're gonna fade it. So a really light hand. You don't need to add any more um, paint to your brush. And we're just gonna kind of go up and down. Okay, because we want it to fade. Now this is a little bit too blue for me and it's not really fading how I want it. So that's not a problem. We're gonna go ahead and just add um, some white. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna rinse my brush. I'm just adding white and I'm gonna come from the side and go into the center. Okay, so we're gonna just come in from the side and go into the center. And since I'm wanting down here to be more blue, I'm gonna bring that white more up here and bring it down. The so same thing with over here. I'm gonna start on the side and I'm gonna bring it into the center. Oops, I had a little bit of a shaky hand right there. That is all right. Okay, and then just take your brush and go over it all. Again, it's fine if it's not perfect. Okay, so there's what I have so far. Okay, now you can go ahead and rinse your brushes out. 
Make sure if you rinse it that you dry it completely if you're planning to use that same brush. And I just have a towel that I don't mind getting paint on. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do is, let me look at my brushes here. Um, I have, we're gonna use a little bit of these fan brushes today. It's okay if you don't have fan brushes. There's lots of different sizes and shapes of these fan brushes. Sometimes they come in a kit and for the longest time I had no idea what they were even for and they scared the heck out of me until I watched a YouTube one time and found out there's so many tricks that you do with just these fan brushes. They're really neat. Um, so right now I'm gonna use I'm gonna go ahead and use an angled brush. If you don't have one, if you just have a regular brush, guys, don't stress, it can still get done. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and use um, an angled brush right now, and I'm gonna dip into my black. Okay, I don't need too much of it. I just wanna get the, if, it, if there's too much, just go ahead and rub it off. Okay, and then what I want to create right now is I'm gonna create um, just a line. Um, I, you have to figure out where you want your land to be. So this is gonna be your water essentially, and then, then your sky and your sunset. Um, so I kinda want mine to be kinda not, just a little bit below um, the middle point. And that's not a straight line, and that's totally fine. You don't need to have a straight line. This is just gonna mark our land. It a little bit darker, so I'm just going. I'm just re going over what I already have, and it's really hard for me to do it while standing up. So <laughs> usually, I don't even like to paint with an easel. I like it flat. Um, but everybody's different. Okay, so there's my land. I've got it marked out now. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to teach you a trick to do with your fan brush. Okay, so here's a fan brush. So I'm going to set this down first. I have a brush in water. Um, I'm gonna put, tip it in my black. If you don't have a fan brush, I'll go over what to do with a regular brush too. So I just wanna teach you this neat trick in case one of your brush kits came with a fan brush and you have no idea, if you were like me and have no idea what the heck they're even for. So we're gonna do our first tree. So what you're gonna take is, uh, now I've got this loaded with black. And I'm gonna kinda of come up and I'm, I'm gonna figure out where I want my tree. And I'm just gonna dab a line, okay? And you can go however tall you want it or however short you want it. So I'm gonna do, on this side, I'm gonna do three trees. So I'm just gonna map out where I want my trees to be. And I think I want the other one to be right there. A little bit more black on, a little more black on the brush. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a tree with using this fan brush. Okay, this is so cool. Okay, so I'm gonna do the tip of the tree, and then I'm just gonna go back and forth. And then as you get to the bottom, you want it to go even wider. So then you're gonna just kind of go back and forth like that. And there's your one tree. Isn't that cool? And then you can go back and add little details. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do this other one with the fan brush. When we get to these trees, I'll do it with a different brush and then you guys can see. Um, so I'm just gonna do the tip of the tree. And then just back and forth all the way down. And then as I get to the bottom there, I'm gonna get really wide here. Okay, so there's my second tree. And then for my third tree over here, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Okay, so there's those trees. Let's see black down here. Okay, so there's my trees on that end. 
Now we're gonna come over to this other side and let's say you just have like a straight edged little brush. So let's, again, we're gonna get in our black. Go ahead and map out where you want your tree to be. I'm gonna do a really big one on this side. So I'm gonna say, I'm just gonna draw. I'm gonna have it right there. And then I'm probably gonna do another one right here, maybe another one right here, and then I'll do a little one right there. Okay. So I've got my brush loaded. And now I'm going to, because I'm standing, I'm gonna rest my hand right here. And again, I'm just gonna use the tip of this brush right there. Um, and I'm just gonna do the same kind of motion I did with my fan brush, just using the tip. And I'm gonna go back and forth. It's okay if it's not, if you look here, I'm not getting it all the way um, filled in and that's okay. Cause I'm gonna come back and we're gonna add some green on top of that, that will add, um, That'll just make it really pop, okay? So there's one tree. So let's go up here and do this one. I might need more black here. And again, I'm just using that corner. Let's see if I can do this up here. So, and then I'm a really light hand too. I'm not pressing too hard on this canvas at all. Let me get those branches in there. Because this isn't a wide brush either, I'm gonna have to. I can't just go back and forth because I have to. I want these to be really long up here. So we'll fill them in when we come back and add the detail. Right now, we're just trying to get the general shape in with this type of brush. And then wider at the base. Okay, there's another tree. So our painting looks like now. Okay, and then we're gonna do this time. And then this one, I'm just gonna go real fast there so I can get that base done. Okay, so there is our trees. So that's what we have. So now we want to add some bushes down at the bottom. A brush that I like to use is another one that came in a kit of mine. It's kind of got like bristly, um, rounded. I didn't really know what to use with this brush either until I saw, um, I think it was Bob Ross that showed me how to use this one. So I'm going to get this one. And again, if you don't have this brush, it's fine, I'm gonna show you in a second how to do that other brush we just used. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and I'm just gonna press down. And this is gonna give me the bush, the bushes effect, okay? And I don't need to go crazy. There's some areas right there I wanna fill. It's okay if it's going, if you see here, let me get closer, how it's going below the water, that rigid line, that's totally fine. Um, And I'm gonna have it come all the way to this middle part. I went ahead and added some more black because I really want it to stand out. So now my trees are behind this bush, which is what I wanted, okay? So that was with using this rounded, kind of raggedy looking brush here. Um, but now I'm gonna go back and again, let's say you only have this type of brush. Um, you can create that same effect, just pressing down or you know moving it a little bit. Let me get closer so you can see. So I'm just like making dots, but I'm moving my brush at the same time, like back and forth. Because you just, you just wanna create that rugged look of like a bush right there. Here. 
This one takes a little bit of a longer. And bushes are kind of rounded, so I'm kind of trying to keep that general shape going. I'm gonna add some right up in here to fill some space. Okay, come all the way to the edge there. Okay, so that's with the, using the different, this style brush. All right, so there's our painting so far. So now what we wanna do is we're gonna go back. Um, I haven't rinsed any of my brushes, I've just been setting them down. Um, now we're gonna go back and I'm gonna use this, because we're gonna go back to this side. Um, actually, let's do our fan brush, if you have a fan brush. Um, okay, so I, I still have that black, but I added some green, and I'm gonna go just right over gonna go right over just not every spot but I just want to put a little bit of green in on those maybe fill in some spots that didn't get filled in do it to the same thing to this little guy you might need to put more green if your black is taken over okay we're gonna put some more green on this little guy So it just kind of adds a little bit more realness to it. Okay, so that was with my fan brush. I'm gonna come over on this side though. I'm gonna use this type of brush. And then same thing again. Just gonna go back and forth. This one I might need to rinse off. I'm gonna rinse this one off because it's collecting more of the black than I would want. So I want that green to really pop. And then I'm gonna rinse it off really good. Okay, let's try it again. Let's get up close here. Perfect. Come up here, do the same thing. Just fill in any of those spaces that needs a little extra. Now's your time to do it. Add more green. It's kind of tapping down on it, really. Okay, I'm gonna come over here and do this thing. Okay. I'll come and do this one now. This part is frustrating you, feel free to step aside and come back. Um, sometimes I need to take a break and then when I come back I feel like I'm getting it again. Okay, so we're gonna still use this so I don't need to rinse it. And I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna use this rugged brush and I'm gonna put some green. I'm gonna use some of the darker green and the lighter green for this side. And I'm just gonna, you see it? going over. I'm not filling um, all of the black in, but just layering on top. So it gives it that nice look. Okay. And I'll show you with using this brush over here. So again, I did that darker green and the lighter green. So still keep that black in the background, so don't color it all the way in. This just tapping, just tapping it. Tap, tap, tap. Okay. So here comes the cool part too, is I'm gonna rinse that one off. If you have a fan brush, um, we're gonna go ahead and take our a fan brush and I'm gonna mix it with the black and the green, just to kind of give it a darker look. So I mixed it with the black and the green. And I'm gonna follow the same line of this trunk just down here into the water. Same thing with this one. There's that line, that trunk up, and then just go down. Same thing with this one. This one's the biggest one, so I'm gonna have it be a little bit longer. Okay, and then you're gonna take this, if you have a fan brush, you're gonna take it 
and then you're just gonna just scrape it down like that. This will give the illusion of um, a reflection on the water. And then I'm just gonna scrape down beside it. Kind of like that. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of, I want it to be a little bit more black in there because that's really green right now. So there's that side using the fan brush. Aren't those cool? I love that. Okay, so now on this side, go ahead and use that same brush that we've been using. I'm gonna grab, they're just gonna be thicker lines, which is fine, it'll still work. Since our tallest one. And then come down here and just kind of, oops, I need some more black on there. Really lightly, just tap it. It's okay if there's space in between. Kind of like, so you know, another way, if you have a, um, a plastic fork, you could take the fork, dip it in your color paint, and then just scrape it down too. That works really well too. So we're just gonna scrape this down. coming right alongside of it. Really light hand, you guys. Don't need to be pressing really hard. Just pulling that paint right down into that water. Okay. Now, if you have a dry brush, Grab a dry brush, one you haven't used, and then this is just gonna blend everything. It might not even make it look like it's giving you a difference at all, but just make sure that it's all blended in there and dry. And I just used a dry brush, so I got a little bit on there, which is good. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna set that down for a second set my brush aside. Um, now we're gonna do, I'm gonna teach you if you have any tools. Sometimes um, you can buy like plastic tools, look like this, or you can have metal tools look like this. If you have these, I'm gonna show you how to use it. If you don't, then again, I'll show you what to do. So what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm done with this one. Set these ones aside for a second. Um, I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna grab, so just scrape it into my black. There's like a little line right there. So these create really good straight lines. So what I'm gonna do is I want to create that edge between the water and the land. So see, I don't know if you can see that. Um, so I'm gonna get some more paint on there, just scrape it. And so just a little bit on there. And then I'm gonna touch it where I want to and then pull it straight across to create that nice straight line. And that's just gonna give me the definition of my land and my, sh and my reflection. So. All right, so I'll stop there because that's halfway through and then I showed you, I always show you with the regular brush, okay. You can also use it with your fan brush if you if you can, um, or if you want and you have one, you can do the same thing. Just find where you want to do that line and then just create it all the way across, okay. But if you don't and you still have, uh, you can also do it with, you can do it with a really fine, you know, detailed, if you have a smaller tip brush, a detail brush, 
Um, if you don't, if you just have one brush, then let's do it with this one, that's fine. It's just, again, it's gonna be harder to get um, that thin line, but you don't wanna press it down because that'll give you a thick line. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna tilt it and then with a light hand, I'm just gonna lightly brush it across. You have to have a really steady hand with this one um, just to try and get that straight line there. Oops, sorry. Okay. So see how that creates just a nice um, definition of where the land starts and the water starts. I think I'm done with that one. Yep. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit more of this one in here. I'm gonna dry it off. And we made some marks. I'm just gonna create some more bushes right here real fast. Now, let's see what we have to do. Okay, so now all we have left are the stars and the water ripplets. Okay, so with that, let me use off this tool. Um, so with the water ripplets, you can use this tool again. They actually, there's so much you can use this tool for. And they have, um, if you get into painting, they have several different sizes. And, and I never went to school for art. I've just taught myself and I've only actually been painting for three years. Um, started out with a face painting for my daughter's birthday. Um, so I got a little kit off of Amazon and then realized I could paint that. So then I went to canvases and then went to shoes and then I went to hats and then I went to jackets and murals and now nothing, everything can be painted. Nothing stops me. <laughs> um, so if I can learn, y'all can learn, and I watch a lot of YouTube videos on how to. Uh, okay, so back to our painting. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna dip it in my white, again, same way that I did with the black. I'm just gonna grab it and pull. Now with your water, you need to make sure you have straight lines, um, otherwise you won't create that nice effect of like a ripple happening or the shoreline. So I'm gonna go right underneath that black that I did. I'll come up close so I can show you. And I'm gonna create just a line right underneath that black. Okay, I'm gonna come over here, a little bit of space, just like that. I'm gonna get some more white on. And that, it just makes it pop, I just love it. I'm gonna come right underneath here do the same thing. Real straight line, okay? Now I'm gonna go throughout the water. I'm just gonna create these little, and then with them, you can just, um, you can pull it down. Just make sure that that line is straight, okay? Here's that. If you don't have this tool, you can use it with a fan brush. Do a couple just to show you. Okay, so get it on your fan brush. And then again, just keep it straight up. Just press it down and then go over like that. Okay. Um, and then if you don't have a fan brush, let me see where's my tool. And you just have a flathead brush. Don't stress again. Just get it on that, get it on that tip. Face it up. 
or facing on its side because if, if you do it straight up, it it'll create um, like a thicker line. So we want it on its side. And we're just gonna go straight across. And you can just brush it down if you want to get that ripple. Okay. So there's the water. Um, for the stars that we're gonna do, um, there's different, several different ways. So we can just do, use your detailed brush or a smaller tip brush. I filled it with white and then you can go ahead and just um, dot stars where you want them. Okay, if you wanna make like that diamond thing. Okay, so there's one way to do stars. Another way to do them is, um, well, you can use a fan brush again or just a regular brush and load it with your white. Like this. Or if you have an old um, toothbrush, you can load that with it and then just spray the bristles. So this is a fun one. and you get a little bit more messier with, but it creates a nice little stars. All right. So voila. Um, here's what the original looks like. You can put anything you want. If you want a saying on there, feel free to put a saying. Um, if you want to do the moon, again, you could probably just get one of these little cups. And that, like, I could trace that right there. Uh, I could trace that right there. And afterwards, fill it in with white. Add some gray to it. Done. You have a moon. So, really, it's up to you. If you guys also wanted to do this again and didn't want to use these colors for the background, play around with it. Uh, show me what you've done. I want to see your guys' paintings. This is really fun for me to do. Um, getting used to the camera. It's still awkward. I miss having people interaction. Um, but this is what we have to work with. So anyways, show me those pictures. I hope you guys enjoy.